our geopolitics taking center stage again. When we're talking gold, joining me today is Will Ryan. He's the CEO of Granite Shares. Will, welcome back. Thank you. So Good let's uh, let's start by talking Italy and Spain. Do you think this is going to be a repeat of what we saw in the summer of 2010 with Greece? Um, I think that there's a very strong likelihood of that, and at least we have a playbook for it. So it feels almost like 2010 to 2012 again, with obviously the debt crisis um, precipitated originally by Italy, by Spain, and then obviously up most famously Greece. But this time, out of nowhere, uh, it feels like Italy is the, the latest sort of um, drama to play out. So how do you think this might unfold? Could you see a Brexit-type situation happening? We also know that Italy holds a ton of gold, you know, one of the largest holders of gold in the world when it comes to central bank holdings. Could they offload some of this yellow metal here? I don't think so. I don't think it's another Brexit type situation because I don't think that the Italian authorities or Italian government will let themselves get into that position. But I think that it's a much more like what we saw in 2010, 2012, where you had more volatility, threats at different stages of countries, potentially leaving the euro, threats of possible contagion spreading to other European countries. So I don't think that Italy will leave the euro, and I don't think that the, the contagion effect will broaden uh, further than, than here, at least at this stage. But it seems like if the, if the ECB is still willing to backstop these countries, you know, Germany, the ECB, um, that would be the most important factor like last time. And do you think they would sell their gold, some of their gold at least? I don't think so. I think that um, they can't uh, in terms of the, the central bank gold agreement, um, but I, I'm not sure that that would play a factor in it. So long term now, does that change the forecast here for gold? You know, we saw gold finally get above 1300 on Wednesday. Uh, could this be a game changer for the metal here now? I don't think this, you know, this in of itself is a game changer. I think it really helps in terms of the geopolitical narrative that frankly has been missing from gold over the last 12 months or so. Um, things seem to have sort of quieted down from a geopolitical front and what we're talking about in terms of catalysts for gold were really more market threats such as a dislocation or a correction in the US equity market or something happening in the, in the bond market. But I think now this is you know, something to talk about um, on the geopolitical side and particularly with the North Korean summit, you know, will it happen, will it not ha happen? Um, now more trade uh, tariffs and more trade war talk between China and the U.S. These things now are starting to bubble to the surface and then add on top um, the oil price situation uh, in the Middle East. And I think you do have some, some decent uh, catalysts forming for gold. And would that be the same for silver then? Would, would silver get a pickup here as well? I think, I think to, a, to a certain degree, um, not, you know, silver doesn't have quite the same safe haven properties of gold, as you know. It um, tends to be more industrial. And so, you know, for silver, I think in, in a market where gold prices are rising, uh, typically silver prices also rise. But I think right now, gold is more motivated by the, the, safe, the, self ha the safe haven um, properties as people look for that sort of flight to quality asset. Okay. So it's not made you uber bullish, made you a little bit more bullish. Where are you in the camp here, Will? I, I don't think this is a, a sort of big bullish right. uh, signal at the moment. It's an interesting development. It's unexpected uh, in the market. Um, and I think it's something that adds to the increasing volatility, which in my point, in, in, from my perspective, that's probably the more interesting factor that we've just had volatility that's so low for so long. And really to get these sort of flight to quality assets like gold yep. more interesting again, you have to have a pickup in volatility. So things like this, like the Italian situation, more geopolitical, any other market type events help, I think, the narrative around gold. Well, Ryan, CEO of Granite Shares, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. And thank you for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.